hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with yet another crochet hairstyle and it's butterfly locks that i'm feeling okay i'm just loving butterfly locks so the hair that i'm going to be installing is from niseo or niseo however you say it and it's on amazon and i'll put everything all the tea about this hair in the description box okay so you guys check that out okay so we're just gonna get right into the video all right so this is my braiding pattern i'm gonna be doing the individual illusion method and then in the back i just have flat twist that took me less than five minutes to do and this is how the hair comes this is the package okay so there's six packs in the package and this is what the packs look like all right so i'm gonna take the hair out so you guys should see this is what the hair looks like and it's 12 of them per pack okay per package per pack okay and and the color that i'm going to be using is t118 okay and yeah so we're just going to store the hair like we do with crochet and you guys know the drill i'm going to be using a crochet needle which came with the package okay so i'm just going to be using crochet needle to install the hair and i just want to let you guys know that uh because it's butterfly locks the loop is usually very tight so you're gonna have a hard time in storing the hair when it comes to that okay so what i was doing before i installed it is i was opening it up a little bit more that way you know i have room like i say usually when it's locks or butterfly locks it's usually really really small okay so you just have to make sure that you open it up a little bit more before you install the hair okay so apart from how tight the loop is I love everything about the hair it's a little bit a little bit heavy but guys you know it's butterfly lock so they're not as light as you know like uh box braids would be you know or like twist would be so you kind of have to expect that but they're really cute and it saves you a lot of time and money you know to sit down for hours to get butterfly locks installed you don't have to do that when it comes to crochet and that's what I love about it, honey, because, you know, time, you're saving time, you're saving money because people have things to do, okay? All right, so here I'm just opening it up before I install the hair, okay? And I'm just going to show you guys the process, okay? okay so this is me just trying to open it up and that's what i was doing i was kind of like unraveling it up a little bit and then it opens up okay and then you have something you can work with you want to make sure that your hair has been protected as you're installing your protective styles i know i always say this but it's very very important okay we want a cute style but we want our natural hair protected okay so this is me unraveling it and then when I feel like, okay, that's enough because you don't want to unravel it so much that, you know, you don't have a butterfly lock anymore, but you just have to be careful, but you definitely have to unravel it that way you, you know, it's not as tight.
and like i mentioned i'll put all the information that you need about this hair in the description box okay So when the loop is a little bit thin, not as thick, you know, it's they're all small regardless, but some of them are, are thinner and some are thick. If it's not as thick, it's better. And I feel like when you unravel it, it becomes really easy for you to install because the loop is now skinny. So, and that's how it'll look, you know, when it's thin. And I feel like it's so much easy to install when that's the case and i kept those ones for the front because that's where my hair is thinner other than the back where i have really thick uh flat twists so yeah And I used all packs. I had none left. I used everything. And what I love about this hair is that it's full. It looks full. And if you don't want to use everything, you don't have to. Okay. And this is the finished look. I'm here for this hair, for this color. I just love everything about it. Okay. Like I said, butterfly locks, you know, locks are like literally one of my favorite protective styles, okay? And crochet braids, guys, you already know how I feel about them, okay? So if you have any spaces that are showing, you can always go back and just put braids in there. And if you don't have enough hair, just take some from the back and fill up the front. You know what I mean, okay? And what I love about this hair is despite being crochet braids, there's so many ways you can style it, okay? So you can rock it in so many different ways, okay? This is it for this video guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment below share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already thank you guys for your support always and i'll see you guys in my next video bye